So one of the biggest questions that a lot of Piggy players have is who exactly is Torchy? Like, what is the Torchy skin? Who is underneath the mask and the outfit? And who exactly is using the flamethrower? So the Torchy skin is actually my favorite skin in the game. It's a very popular skin. I think it's even the most expensive skin in the game. And it came out with Chapter 11, the Outpost. Now, unlike a lot of the other skins in the maps and in the chapters, it actually does have a plot. It is part of the story. It's not just a random skin thrown in there just to, you know, just to have fun with. It does actually have have a huge part in the story of chapter 11 the outpost so if you guys haven't played through chapter 11 yet or maybe you're new to piggy and you're just now watching and discovering the the wonderful world of roblox piggy well it is revealed in chapter 11 that the piggies there the the soldier piggies they are all fighting and trying to stay safe from this infection that's going around and it's revealed in chapter 11 by the soldier piggies that if you get attacked by a piggy then you then become infected it's kind of like a zombie if you get bit by a zombie you become a zombie and if you get attacked by a piggy you become a piggy. You don't actually have to drink the potion. So what was happening was those bunch of soldiers were getting infected. They were attacking other soldiers and the whole outpost was starting to become infected. So the military called in the torture guy or girl. We, well, I actually know the answer to that. I'll tell you exactly who he is here in a little bit. So stay tuned to the end of the video. But anyway, the military called this torture skin in to basically deal with all the all the piggies. Just, just burn them. That was their solution. And I guess at some point within that solution, uh, well, I guess he got infected too. Or she. They, they got infected and now they're now they're going crazy and now they're infected and they're just burning everything with a flamethrower but the question remains who exactly is torture is it a girl is it a guy like what kind of animal are they who are they let's all get into that I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about the torture skin right now also want to say congrats to these guys on screen for winning our robux code giveaway from the last video if you do want to win one of these robux codes all you got to do is be subscribed to the channel and leave a comment down below with your roblox name twitter name discord name or some way for me to contact you so go ahead and subscribe and let's go ahead and let's get into this video so a lot of you guys may not have actually noticed this but if you take a really good look at the torture skin i'll put some pictures or a video up on screen you'll actually notice if you pay really close attention to the mask you know the actual gas mask you'll notice something very interesting about the mask and that's that the gas mask that the torture is wearing is not a normal gas mask it actually has like a long nose like a long snout or something coming off of it. it's really weird now i got to thinking about this 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 weird nose thing that's on the the front of the torture's mask and that's when i i realized that you know one we're in the piggy universe we're in the peppa pig universe every character here is some sort of animal so that means that torture has to be an animal and that's when i realized that the torture skin the actual thing in the front of the mask that's actually a trunk that is an elephant trunk on the front of it and we can actually confirm this because if you go back to chapter nine if you go to the city and you look at ellie all right ellie the elephant aka the one that runs ellie's enterprise she is a elephant and she has the exact same trunk now i was doing some digging on the peppa pig wiki because obviously all the characters in Roblox Piggy are inspired or copies of the actual characters from Peppa Pig. And I was doing some research and I found out that there's actually three, technically four elephants, elephants inside of Piggy or inside of Peppa Pig. So we have Emily Elephant, who is a sister. She's the sister elephant. She's a young kid in Peppa Pig. And that's who Ellie the elephant is based off of. They just had to change the name a little bit for copyright reasons, as always. And then her mom, we have Mummy Elephant. That's her name, Mummy Elephant. And then her husband, daddy elephant who is i believe a doctor in peppa pig's universe and then the only other prominent elephant character is actually the sister elephant and that is edmund so we have edmund who's the brother we have ellie who's the sister the peppa pig ellie and then of course mom elephant and dad elephant so it's four elephants there so obviously if you do the process of elimination we know that ellie is in fact emily the elephant so that leaves three elephants all right that means torture has to be either the dad the mom or edmund which is the little brother now, I thought that this is where my search would end for the truth behind the torture skin, but I actually actually was able to go a little bit further because I looked up some pictures of Dr. Elephant and you might actually realize that there's something on his face. He has tusk. He has elephant tusk. And the thing about the torture skin is he does not have tusk. So that completely eliminates the dad elephant. It cannot be him because he has tusk and the torture skin does not. So that leaves two elephants. We either have the Esmond, uh, Edmund elephant or we have the mom elephant. So it has to be one of those two. Now, unfortunately, with torture we can't really decide if it's a girl or a guy just based on looks because they're wearing a giant suit and a giant mask so it's really hard to tell but there is actually a way to tell so some of you guys may actually already know this but the sound effect the jump scare voice effect for torture is actually seen in another game it's actually a reference to another character in another game called team fortress 2 tf2 you guys may even play it and it's a reference to the pyro character literally the voice effect for the torture is just the pyro character scream except slowed down and modified 
you know, for again, copyright reasons. So I'm gonna play the torture jump scare real quick. Here it is on screen. And now I'm gonna play the sound effect from TF2. This is the pyro sound effect. And you're going to notice that they're very similar. They're, they're, well, they're the exact same. And of course, the pyro in TF2 is a guy. So that means that this, this torture skin is a guy. So by process of elimination, we, we found who it is. It has to be Edmund the Elephant. Now you guys might be asking yourself, wait, Creek Crab, wait, 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 wait. I'm looking at the wiki and it says that Edmund is two years old. How can this possibly be? It can't be Edmund. Obviously, he's not two years old. Look at this. Look at this torture skin. He's not two years old. And to those people, I do want to say you would be right. But the thing about the piggy unit, Universe is it's actually taking place in the future. So a lot of the characters that are kids in the show are actually adults now. So for example, we have Pony and Zizzy. They are young adults or, you know, around the age of 20, older teens, somewhere in that area. George is around the age of 10, 11, 12. And so by doing the math, that would mean that Edmund is somewhere around the age of 16, 17, or 18, which means it is perfectly plausible for the torture skin to be Edmund. It's not out of the realm of possibility. So there we go. I, I can't believe we actually did it. There it is, guys. The torture skin is Ed Edmund Elephant. There, there it is. So mystery solved. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave us some suggestions down below with more piggy secrets or theories or whatever you want to see me make a video on. I'll be reading through all the comments down below. Of course, make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss any future videos, live streams, or anything to do with Roblox Piggy. This is definitely the place for that here on the YouTube. And of course, keep using star code Real Creek because it allows me to just keep buying these Robux codes, which is very, very awesome. We literally just did a $500 uh, Robux code giveaway the other day and... Um, um, that was amazing. And uh, yeah, thank you guys. Keep using Star Code Real Creek. It's awesome. Hope you guys have a great day, though. Uh, stay safe, uh, wear your mask, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>